Well, it finally came the time when I have to replace the laces on my snow boots. So I went on Amazon, and I need 96-inch laces for these, or 8 feet. And I went on Amazon, and they wanted uh, almost $20, you know, $16, $18 for laces of that length. But then I saw uh, there were paracord boot laces on there, and that got me thinking. I have a bunch of paracord. I bought 500 feet of it years ago, and I've used it on tons of projects. And the only, the hard part would be making the little tip to feed it through the uh, eyelets of the boots. Um, and then I saw people were using heat shrink tubing, which is used for electrical work to, when you make an electrical connection of wires, you put the heat shrink on there and it seals it. It's waterproof and it gets hard. So I thought, I'll make my own boot laces. Now, obviously this was free to me because these are two things I had, but even if you had to buy it, you can buy 250 feet or 100 feet. You could buy 100 feet for 10 bucks of paracord. You could buy 250 feet for 18 bucks. Um, the heat shrink tubing, you can get like 100 of them for 6 bucks. So actually you're spending the same amount, plus you're getting tons of paracord, which you can use all over the house. Um, so here's how I made it. So here's one I've already done, and then I have to do it on this one. And for this one, it was so tied and worn, I actually had to cut it off. I couldn't get it off the laces. And this one I've been able to kind of feed it through, but it's... This one wasn't as worn as bad, but I've already made one tie in it. Um, so you measure this out, and you cut the paracord to that length. And I'm surprised... Uh, the paracord seems a lot stronger than the existing boot laces I had. Inside a paracord, you have multiple strands of stronger little thread. If this is too thick for your boot laces, you can always pull some of these strands off and you'll have just the outer casing. But for mine, this was perfect. It was the right thickness, so I'm using it just as it is. So you just take the laces and you measure out exactly how much you want. And even if you wanted to make the laces a little longer, so example, if sometimes people like to wrap the laces around the back of the boot before they tie them, you can make them as long as you want. So you just get it to the length you want, maybe add a few inches, and then cut it. So here's the paracord I just cut. So you don't want this kind of end. You want to cut a nice clean end like this here. You then feed the heat shrink tubing on. And you don't want to go all the way to the end. You want to pull it back. So at the end is actually right about here. Because you, you want to make a little point on the end here. So you can use a heat gun or a lighter or anything to heat it up. And then I like to, it's hot, so you, but you want to make a little point there. Because that's where you're going to feed it through the eyelet. So the most important thing is just this getting that point there like that. And then you heat up the rest of it. Evenly so it wraps around. And just like that, you have a nice end of your laces. And this will harden up. When this cools down, this will become really hard and you'll be able to feed it through. Right now it's a little pliable and bendy because it's hot. But in a minute or so, this is going to harden up and become really hard. Okay, it's been a minute or two and these are, uh, have hardened up and you can just lace them through. And the eyelets on uh, my boots are pretty small, but these are able to fit through them. Pull from the front, but it fits through just fine. So here's a quick update. After going out and using the boots and really tying the laces, I had two of these end pieces fall off. I think this paracord's real slippery, and even though these were cinched on, I could just pull them off. They weren't really fused on there. So I'm gonna pull these other two off. Yep, this one came off. This one's actually really on there. So that one wasn't gonna come off without a lot of force, but the other three did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hot glue gun, um, I'm gonna trim these ends up again, so they're nice and flush. I'm gonna put, again, I have a hundred of these heat shrink tubes for six bucks so there's no chance of running out. I'm going to uh, put a different end on it uh, but this time I'm gonna push it through 
But this time I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue on the paracord, then pull it through, then heat it up. So the hot glue will really hold it in and then I'll be able to cinch it. So here you can see it's frayed. Cut it nice and flush. Feed a new heat trick on there. Pull it forward. Take the hot glue. And then pull that forward. So that's it, it's nothing real complicated, but for the same price as buying a pair of laces and 5-10 minutes worth of work, um, you can have tons of heat shrink tubing, which might not be super useful to you, but you can get uh, 100, 250 feet of paracord that you can use all the time. Um, so theoretically, I mean, you could make 10 pair of laces for the same price as buying one of them. So I uh, hope this helps. If you have to replace some of your old boot laces, don't just spend 20 bucks and buy them. You can make your own. And they're just as good, if not better, than the laces you could buy. So I'm happy with how they turned out. So I'm going to be doing this on all my boots from now on. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.